welcome back to my channel uh, you can see the uh, there's a capacitor in my hand and uh, the rating is uh, given over here as 4700 microfarad it's a capacitor with a moderate capacitor out here and here I've connected uh, an LED and uh, this uh, it's a green LED actually and along with it I've connected a uh, resistance and uh, resistance connected in series with the LED so that if the capacitor gets charged uh, this LED will uh, glow I had already charged and I'll switch off the flashlight let me see as the cell also over here 9 volt approx you can see uh, this uh, I had charged before so the LED uh, was already you know uh, glowing it's continuously glowing because the capacitor is already charged and I had charged nearly a uh, one hour uh, before so uh, what I do that I'll try and um, you know uh, just uh, you can see I'll just uh, switch on the flashlight so that it's visible to you and I try and touch this so that the capacitor can get charged I just try and touch this and this polarity has is very important you know the polarity is very important so you know I have touched it like this as a positive terminal on the side uh, and now it is the capacitor is charged it took nearly a second to uh, charge off and you can see that green LED is glowing and it will glow for a very long time if I switch off this uh, flashlight I've switched off and see that the green LED is glowing out here uh, well the capacitor stores charge and because the, of this reason uh, this LED keeps on growing uh, and continuously the charge is flowing out from the capacitor unless and until the capacitor gets fully discharged and you know that it takes a very long amount of it in fact the axis if you see the x-axis uh, the graph will not touch the x-axis and the discharging of the capacitor will take place in, in a very infinite uh, long time you must be knowing that equation exponential equation behind it i've even observed that uh, if you keep in uh, for one day even then also next day you will find that the this uh, particular led is uh, you know continuously glowing you can see that i'm speaking over here and this uh, led hardly has you know uh, uh, deteriorated it's uh, i'm trying to make it very dark uh, you can see that the flashlight is uh, still you know persistent uh, continuously it's uh, glowing out here and uh, that's a wonderful system of the capacitor uh, that it stores charge and you can see that uh, actually uh, it's uh, absolutely without uh, the connection of any uh, uh, cell uh, or any source of energy external that the backing up there's no backing up out here there's no, nothing out here and still the LED is glowing only because of the storage of minute amount of charge one more reason that LED tries to draw a very minute amount of current and uh, that's one of the reason that uh, you know the capacitor over here is not getting discharged for a very rapid a small amount of time so it also depends upon that how what's the quality of led or the bulb or the load that you are trying to uh, take uh, this uh, capacitor will not rotate the motor or fan or something like that very small mini toy motor and all cannot be rotated why because the motor happens to draw a very large amount of current so uh, I hope that uh, you understand that how, what's the physics behind this uh, capacitor out here. And uh, once more, let's see uh, if I can charge it to a better manner. Let's see the, how bright uh, it has become once I touch it with the cell over here it's shown and it intensely it grows the charge and well the charge grows then the current which is actually shooting off is also so i'll make it very dark and just see that how bright it is uh, 
the flashlight is there so it's that to see at the bottom whatever things are here so i hope that you enjoyed thank you so much the charge will get distorted for a very long time we cannot wait up till then thank you so much for watching